So uh, my company is Formation Creative. Um, I'm a freelance graphic designer, so I work, I work for myself, self-employed. Um, and essentially what I do is um, branding, I specialise in branding and identity work for local businesses. There's lots of businesses based here, but probably don't know the value of design and I can hopefully bring that expertise and understanding to improve their business through design, whether that's um, designing a website for them or a new logo that um, has more meaning or more um, engagement with people that are looking at that particular company. Um, yeah, so it's kind of just hopefully bringing um, professional design services to somewhere that hasn't really had access to it. I suppose that my initial kind of thought of uh, the W biosphere is the natural beauty of it. And when I lived in Leicester and we used to come over for weekends, um, that was certainly, I find the place really inspiring and uplifting and um, the thought of being able to live and work in, in a, an environment like this is, is just magical really. So um, that really um, made me want to base my business here initially. But then, once you are here, um, there's also the sort of strong feeling of community and um, you realise what that means when you live here in that people really want to support each other. Businesses are really keen on supporting local, other local businesses, which, um, you know, that becomes sort of mutually beneficial in that, um, you know, I, I can, I want to offer my design services locally so that it, um, improves the local economy, helps businesses um, be perceived um, as they should be, like really good, strong um, companies, and you can improve that through design. But also because I'm working locally, people want to support me. Um, they want to give me the work because I'm local. Um, and I suppose thirdly, kind of... Um, the fact that you, because you're working locally with local businesses, you see your work around. You see the you see how that um, impacts the you know businesses thriving because they've got a cool logo that people really enjoy seeing and they want to visit that cafe or they want to stay at that um, uh, camping site or they want to you know use that use that company because it looks good. They look really like they know what they're doing. Um, and for my kids as well, what was really interesting was that when I started working from home and working for local businesses, they they started seeing my work around and it was like, hey, dad's done that. That's, you know, that's a really lovely feeling, um, seeing your work on, on the shelves of shops or um, your kids seeing a sign that you've done for their school and they're really proud of it or the local cafe's got a big banner in the window which I've done the logo for. It's just a really good feeling. So firstly, um, it's probably the local environment being really pretty. I try and incorporate certain elements of that where it's relevant into my work. So, um, you know, maybe the sort of mosses and colours that you see around, the natural beauty, often that feels right for design work for companies that are based around here. It just feels like a good fit. It, it represents them. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's that. Um, but also the kind of companies that I end up working for around here are, you know, they're generally small businesses, um, quite often family businesses, um, and they're, um, yeah, got more of a kind of ethical, they appreciate the sort of integrity that I can bring to their business. Um, they're just pleasant to work for, essentially, you know, um, working on... Um, small scale food food and drink manufacturing um, um, packaging or whatever it's just really nice that you know that it's a small scale really good quality produce um, that you 
you know, I want to work. I want to work for them to produce some really nice design results and see them thrive as a business. I suppose starting my business from scratch, really. You know, I, I had no clients, no no website, no real portfolio that was relevant to businesses around here. So it was kind of reinventing my design services to be relevant to much smaller scale clients than I've been used to working for um, and budgets accordingly. But um, And also um, working for myself. I was part of a team of eight. Uh, so we had you know a web developer and a, a photographer on hand and account managers. So I'd have to do kind of everything myself from bookkeeping, uh, going to meetings and presenting ideas, um, at, uh, learning how to code a website, um, print managing, finding new suppliers for signage. It was kind of like literally everything was starting from scratch, um, which was tough, yeah. I think I would strongly suggest going to work somewhere else for a while, get a really good understanding of what it takes to be good at doing that particular thing, um, learn your mistakes while you're working for someone else if you're going to make any, get really good at what you're doing and then go it alone once you've got some experience and confidence and you know, you know what works and what doesn't. I think now it's kind of it feels like home here you know it's, it's what life is outside of work it's um, it's a really fantastic place to live to live in terms of outdoors um, yeah just getting out in the fresh air escaping kind of like the stresses of living in a city or you know you know you just don't have that around here it's um it's a fantastic place to live and work um, yeah love it